Hey guys, welcome to Jurassic Room. Go I gotta go switch this in. We have turtles. So my fiance moved in and moved her turtles into the 75 gallon. They're pretty cool. I call them April and Irma. They have different names, but that's what I call them. They were doing well for the um, first couple of days with the catfish and everything. They're still doing good with the snapping turtle and the musk turtle. However, uh, just when I got home today, they decided to turn the catfish into sushi. So that kind of sucks. But just want to show them off before I go into the other room to film. And now I'm in the other room. So guys, I am going to be reading off of a script because I just want to be as precise as possible. And if you see me looking off over here, it's because I'm terrible at reading a script. And I want to be as precise as possible, like I said. Because uh, I am covering a larger content creator. I want to have all my facts straight. And I just want to do this as best as possible. So, so as you all know, I'm no fan of content creators who put animals in horrible situations for clout. As you may have seen in my last video covering animal neglect on YouTube. And in that video, which was over an hour long, I covered everything from soft shell turtle babies being fed to bigger turtles. And Chinese giant salamanders being fed to turtles. And iguanas being fed to Pac-Man frogs. Just a number of terrible situations. And while the person I'm covering today has not committed such malfeasance as those creators, I still feel like they are a net loss to the platform and aquarium hobbyists as a whole. So meet Bobby Botsford, a 21-year-old man that runs the channel called Bass Fishing Productions, as well as a second channel, Bass Fishing Productions Vlogs. He is usually accompanied by his girlfriend and camerawoman, Helen, and in many of his old videos, his friend Rob, who runs the channel Rob's Aquatics. However, at some point they had a falling out, and have since parted ways. Now, Rob has also done a few videos which are questionable similar to BFP. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. However, BFP... Uh, there's enough to cover with BFP and Rob can possibly be a second video, in all honesty. I originally learned of Bobby through a video by Soda Pets, who reacted to a now since deleted video of Bobby and crew dumpster diving for fish he says were left to die by a pet store, which included Tetris and Beta Fish. He would then talk about a giveaway of the fish and house multiple betas, so Siamese fighting fish, in an outdoor bird bath, which Bobby later claims all disappeared. And uh, we don't need to just we don't need to think hard on what happened to the fish, really. Fish from the pit store dumpster. I had a bad feeling about this video and a feeling that it might be completely fake, allegedly. So I thought we'd watch it today and figure it out ourselves. They actually have multiple videos doing the same thing, rescuing fish from the dumpster. Actually, the same species, just different colors. So we got green ones there. I've just never seen people put glowfish and like a shark in a pond before. Sorry, sorry guys, we cannot say the name. Just like last time, I quickly summarized. I got an email from an employee at this pet store and she said that her manager, this is a very common thing with this pet store, but their manager makes them throw away live fish, live animals. If they're sick or they need room for inventory or something like that, they throw them away in the dumpster. And the first day we came here, we found tons of fish. Oh, this dumpster's jam packed today. And you Oh, see see that? Yeah, I see the dead one. Dude, that thing is so dead. Yeah, that thing is dead. I don't like that. Guys, that's a dead beta fish. I don't know if it was alive when they threw it in here, but it's freaking dead. All the way in the back. Look, there's fish in it. Let's go get it. Right there, look. I don't know how to get it, dude. I don't want to get in there. Oh my god. Is that a plank out? <gasps> he's alive! Oh my god, Brandon, he's alive! We need water. Get we the water. Poor little thing. So They're we're all gonna, gonna die before the giveaway. We're gonna get a crap ton of plants and just like I said, this is only temporary because we're gonna be giving every single one of these away. So the quicker you guys enter, the quicker we can give them away. And uh, you know, from a dumpster, I mean, this is better than them dying, right? Look how pretty this one is. Is it? Is it better? I don't really know. Gorgeous. Okay. So blue. There you go. What? Why are they, they coming all together? Just a bunch of plants, man. They doing the best we can. I mean, obviously, we weren't planning on saving like 10 beta fish today. Maybe you but should. But we're doing the best that we really bend. can right now with one. Right down there. So as you can tell, they all are comfortable in here. They all got their little holes. There's just not enough space in there for them to actually have their own territory. So they're gonna fight to the death. I'm sorry, but... Oh. What the f*** is this? Knitting wild x levels in Tiny Creek. Or description, so... I don't know. That's why I also think that this is just done on purpose. Also, careful of the small rocks. You can eat those. Let me know what you think about these videos. 
Uh, it does worry me because there's just so many of them and they clearly just put these fish through so much stress just to film these fake videos. And also, I mean, I don't like these chain pet stores, but it isn't right to just like go around saying that they're dumping all these live animals when they're actually not and you're the one doing this and acting like the hero. But the video was deleted and Soda Pets, I really encourage you to watch her video because she goes over it and as well as some other videos that I am going to cover later on. But yeah, it's the only, um, she has the only um, footage of what's left of these deleted videos. So I, I really encourage you to go check out her channel. She's pretty good. Uh, makes a lot of great content. Bobby has a very energetic and enthusiastic personality that greatly appeals to kids as well as many who believe in the authenticity of his videos. Bass Fishing Productions is a very successful channel standing at 2.6 million subscribers and over 422 videos and the vlog channel sitting at 55,000 subscribers and only three videos currently. Bobby started creating content five years ago with his first video being posted on July 11, 2019, where he and a few friends fish for native and non-native fish, all while being kicked out by security, which ends up being a common occurrence in many of Bobby's old videos, where he continuously is either kicked out or asked to leave after trespassing on golf courses, abandoned pools, houses, and fishing in restricted areas. Much to the annoyance of probably some HOA members, some golfers, and probably the security that constantly had to deal with him. And probably, uh, probably were a pain for his parents at the point at the time. You don't have to do that. We're leaving. There's a sign to this. What? There is a special. First of all, there's a sign over there. One, two, three. I call the cops. Where's the big lake, though? Which? Okay. He told us we could fish at the big lake, but it doesn't tell us where the big lake is, so. Listen to me. We're, we're, I look like I'm threatening We're already gone. I'm a 65 year old grandmother. We're That's, already gone. Why are you still following us? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Listen, you guys oh, can, in the parking lot. You yeah. guys can fish. Yeah, no, but I'm, you got to fish from the golf course. If it's in a swimming pool. And they said no. And they said I have to call the alligator. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. There's a, no, 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 no. There's a, no, there's an alligator. What? There's an alligator. The alligator was in the pool. Man? No. Are you still fishing, man? No, when when I was walking out, when you told me to leave, I, I saw him in there. And I've just been seeing if... Oh, you came back, you came back No, 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 I've been here this whole time. I called FWC, everyone, seeing if, like, they can get him out. <laughs> right? You probably, probably have this whole time, right? Yeah. Usually it's not the cops, but it's like, you know, just security. the manager, oh, yeah. security, yeah. So, massive, massive, massive marina pets, big tarpon. As you can see here, these are a bunch of charter boats, and basically they feed the tarpon right over there where they, you know, fillet the fish. And we brought some fillets, and we're gonna see if we can catch some big tarpon here. It's a of rain, we're probably gonna get kicked out. So it should be fun, guys. Let's see if we can catch some of these charter pets. We got... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, literally no one's even looking at us. Are you gonna pick him up? Oh. Yeah, ready? Now let him fight a little bit. Pull up. Yeah, there we go. Hooks out. Hooks out. Let's go, boys. Oh See if for least two? Let's go. There he goes. Brandon, it's your turn. Hello. He would eventually knock off the shenanigans and move on to make content that he continues to make to this day. And after canvassing over many of Bobby's videos, I found several concerning situations that I feel need to be called out. And I'll try to focus on as many as I can in this video while being as objective as possible. While some of the creatures he catches are plausible, like native bass and bluegill, as well as invasives like Mayan cichlids, Oscars, and snakeheads, many are not plausible and have never been cited before even in some cases google ai literally literally refers to bfp videos as a reference animals such as sun catfish jelly catfish fire eels angelfish dragon gobies lungfish different types of Raphael catfish and even totally not uh, a cadaver sea lamprey that uh he somehow finds in a storm drain he actually finds, in total of his videos, three uh, dead lamprey. Just think it's, I just think it's funny. It's not moving. What is that? Ew. Is it a fish or is it, it looks like a pipe. I think it's like a snake. Ew. Uh, oh, the, oh, what is that? Ew. Oh my God, it looks like an eel. Oh, it's definitely dead though. It's not moving. What the heck is that? <gasps> oh my God. That's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Ew. It feels like a, it feels like a catfish. Ew. God. 
What did we just catch? It's got like a freaking Demogorgon head. I really, I don't want to touch it. It's dead. Oh. Uh, Helen, it has eyes. What do you think it is? I don't know. It's disgusting though. Look, it's got eyes right there. We just found an alien in the sewer, okay? There's some crazy stuff in there. I wish, I kind of wish it was alive. We could take him home. We, we would have a pet Demogorgon. Look at its teeth. They're zooming on the teeth. They're huge. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess. Oh, it smells so bad too. Okay, buddy. Oh, oh my God. God. I mean, it, what? Another one. Another alien. Really? Yes, I'm not kidding. It's not this. Oh my God. This one's all curled up. And we know it's not the same one because it's a different sewer. Next net. And as I was pulling it up, I spotted something crazy. Oh my God, Helen. Oh my God. I know what that is. We've caught these before. Is that a lamprey? I oh know. my God. It's, it's a freaking lamprey. That is disgusting. On, and they suck all the blood out and they just kill it. Ugh, we just disgusting. caught one in a sewer. That is really nasty. Ew, it's like hard as a rock. It's that's what she said. <laughs> dead oh my god you can't even see the eyes anymore they're like deteriorating this is so nasty you guys it's so crazy too because we've caught lampreys in sewers before and they were also dead i don't know the reason behind that maybe they go into the sewers to die i have no idea or maybe they just can't survive in them he also gets lucky not to visit abandoned swimming pools where previous owners abandoned rare exotic fish even in one case finding an abba abba knife fish now a subscriber that put the fish in here, he sent me a message the other day and he said that there's one fish in here that I haven't caught yet and it's actually one of the world's deadliest fish. Now he didn't tell me what kind of fish it was, but he did tell me that I already own one of them. So that kind of narrowed it down and it gave me the idea that this is an Abba Abba knife fish. Buddy, thank God he- Ew, what? How is this even real? I can't even believe what I'm seeing. Comment down below what kind of eel this is. Look how cool he is. What's up? We're gonna keep fishing and see what else we can catch, but that was freaking crazy. <laughs> Alright. Not too bad. Wait. Ow! It just bit me. Is that a freaking Wells catfish? Wait a minute. Oh my god. No way. Is this a Wells catfish? That might be a Wells catfish. Wait, let's get him in the bucket. This is actually insane. This might be crazy, you guys. This fish. It's an albino lung fish. What? Yo, that is actually insane. I've never seen an albino one before. Look that I have is literally the only one I've ever seen. So this is insane. I want to try and hold it up real quick. Wow, these things are very crazy looking. Look how adorable. Oh my god. So this right here is one of the world's deadliest fish, you guys. This thing is fierce and vicious and we have just caught it out of the abandoned pool. Wow. I don't even know. And a fountain that he's visited on three different occasions, finding beta fish, Raphael catfish, an arowana, and even an axolotl. Rob, what is that? It's a monster tadpole. Wait, that thing's a freak. It has legs. Wow, that ain't no tadpole. Ew! Oh. Oh, is that a salamander? That's an axolotl, dude. It's gotta be one of those mud puppy things. You guys always roast me for calling these axolotls, but they are. Look, tell me that's oh not an axolotl. Oh my god. Can I hold him? Yeah, you wanna hold him? Yeah, he's, oh, he's so, so cute. cute. Oh, he's so, so, cute. so cute. Look at him. The axolotl! Look at this. Look at the gills on him. That's a big one. That doesn't look like the, the salamanders we were catching. It looks like an axolotl. That thing is so okay. freaky. The thing we're gonna put in here is this big old beefy salamander larvae. I don't even know, dude. Little thing right here and see what he does. Oh yeah, look at that thing. What is he doing? Hey, come over here. Come on. Come over here. I don't know. Dude, these things are so cool. There you go. Go on. Oh, he's swimming. Ah! Oh, that's a fountain. <laughs> I mean, it's a pond. Yeah, I guess. I guess he wasn't lying. It's a huge fountain. Look at this area. It's like the corner of the yard. Check it out. Let's see if we can see anything. Freaking arowana. These are big, too. These are nice, healthy arowanas. Whatever they're eating, they're eating good. Whether it's those guppies or, like, lizards. Oh, he's an angel fish. Come here. Oh, 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 he juked you. Oh. Oh. I got him, dude. I got him. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Dude, it's an eel. No. Oh, look. Look at him. Yes. It's huge. Oh look at that my god. Fire eel, bro. Oh, relax. Oh, he He's also pulled massive and exotic plecos out of mud holes. Laying their eggs. Oh, I got his tail. I got it. I got it. Oh, I need two hands. That's what she said. Let go. How are they so strong? Ah! Oh my god. Ow, he's fucking me! That one's just as big! Look at the size of that! That's what she said! <laughs> Four? He's literally in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look right here, look right here. I got him. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Yes, it's a royal placo! It's a massive royal placo! Oh, he does not look good. Oh my god! These things are crazy! We caught him here before, just little babies. So he's disgusting. Alright, check this out. We got enough stripes on it, and this one's sort of like a zigzag pattern. Do you see that? That's so weird. Maybe he's like a hybrid. Maybe he's mama. And a puffer fish from a primitive trap he made, as well as an axolotl in the same trap. Hey, look at this placo. I thought it was an albino one at first because I saw the yellow. That is not a normal one either. Look at all the yellow dots. That is so pretty. What? Wait, what? Oh my god. That's a freaking puffer fish. Wait, right? Oh, there's its tail. Here we go. I'm just going to grab him, I think. Look at the... Dude, what is going on right now? Right? Think about this trap, guys. It's very hard to catch all the stuff out that you caught. Oh, right here. Ah, what the? Oh my gosh. Another axolotl. Dude, this is a little record and this isn't even our normal spot for him. That is our third one that we've caught in one day. And it's another monster. I mean, look how big he is. This is crazy, guys. We have a new axolotl spot, I guess. There might be something. No. Wait. 
No way. You're not even gonna believe it. It's another freaking axolotl. What is going on? Look at that. We just caught four in one day. They must be like breeding here like crazy. We're gonna go ahead and add this guy to the bucket. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We we now have an axolotl army. Guys, the primitive fish trap sure did work. And inside of the fish room, we have this monster aquarium we just set up. Now, I didn't know what I was gonna put in here, but since we caught four axolotls today, I think this is gonna be a perfect home for them until they turn into tiger salamanders now. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and make like a rock structure on one side. So that way, when they do turn into salamanders, they can climb up on land. But for now, this is gonna be a perfect home for them. Here goes two. There they go. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. And the final two. There goes one, and there goes the other. Such crazy looking creatures now. That also happened to be in kind of a, a drainage ditch. In other videos, he's pulled sirens, newts, an adult tiger salamander, aforementioned sea lamprey cadavers, and many more exotic fish from storm drains. And in one video, he finds a boa constrictor that he blames for eating some of his pet fish. Bobby also explores abandoned ponds that are just his own. What's up, BFB Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today is finally the day. We're going to be draining the mystery pond here to see what is inside. Now, guys, we have a lot of ponds here on the property. We have the cichlid and koi pond. We have the predatory pond. We have the Oscar pond, the Mata Mata turtle pond. BFB Nation, welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we are going to be draining my koi pond here in my front yard to see what is in there, guys. After years and years of putting fish, we're finally going to be draining it to see what all we've put in here. Because honestly, I forgot. Like, there's literally so many fish in here. I'm really excited to do this, guys. It's been a long time coming. As you can tell, if you get close here, the water is very, very dark. And that is for one reason. For whatever reason, the title says Abandoned Pond. And the video is just him looking at his own ponds that I guess he just doesn't look at often. Or, I don't know. It's just a title. A clickbait title. Another form of content Bobby posts are videos surrounding his mystery ponds, which is an idea that should give any aquarium hobbyist the shivers. In one particular video titled, I found an alien in my pond, he catches several exotic fish, including Atlantic stingrays, which by the way, can only tolerate fresh water and require a saltwater setup to stay healthy. Let's check that out, you guys. We have a freaking stingray. How crazy is that? Oh. Did you see that? He almost spined me, stung me, whatever it is. That is crazy. The Atlantic stingray is really cool because he's one of the few stingrays that can live in freshwater or salt water. And we have a much better home waiting for him. So we're gonna head over there and get him into his new home. Now that right there is a jelly catfish. Big old mouth, he'll eat anything smaller than him. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna get this guy in the tank all by himself so he doesn't eat any of the other fish. And yeah, these guys will get massive. So let's add him to his new home. All right, he's gonna be in a 125 all fish and that is called a humpback puffer. You can see his little hump on his back. Before, up until these guys. I saw him as our aliens. I mean, look at that long fish. That is just crazy looking <laughs> yes oh, this is crazy you guys if you don't know what this is this right here is a frogfish now most of you are probably like wait i thought that was a saltwater fish well it is however this species right here can actually live in fresh water just like those stingrays look look how tiny and microscopic his eyes are that's what makes him so pretty insane i remember putting this guy in here about a month lima shovel nose catfish they're related to them kind they're fully aquatic kind of like axel now they're actually native to florida and i've always wanted one and i've never seen one before until this guy and he's there there's actually some smaller fish very feisty all right and there he goes look at that second stingray in the pond and trust me chips in they go in the cooler wow look at that i got a perfect spot for this guy okay and immediately we were starting all right buddy there you go into the predator but nowhere near this size that is do you know what that is it's really crazy this right here is called a siren look at those little legs look at him walking it's almost like a mix between an by 10 look at him go he has no problem walking on my oh now he's swimming i love him so much comment down below a name for our new siren but for now we're gonna add him to the cooler there he goes all right we have three alien fish in the net at once this might be our best net yet check this out we got this guy right here this is a gulper catfish we have one already a little bit bigger than this guy but a cool fact about these guys is they could actually eat a fish double the length of their body that's what in it all aliens i mean look at this guy that is just from another planet right there there's three of them in the cooler sweet all right Rav, that is just oh my oh, oh my god there's a fire reel right there and she is so gorgeous other species include frogfish, jellyfish, sorry, jelly catfish, fire eels, oscars, plecos, lungfish, dragon gobies, puffers, freshwater pike cichlids, and even a gulper catfish, as well as an amphiuma, Spanish rib newts, and a siren. Most of which were put into other tanks and ponds and the mystery pond itself. However, for some reason, the amphium and the lungfish were put into the Mata Mata turtle pond. Which is actually, um, as you'll see later on in the video, some of the, uh, well, I'll get to it later. He even puts Pippa Pippa frogs in there for some reason, and I don't know if he's serious or not because he does put some fish in odd places, as far as I can tell. Because I look at his fish room and then I look at what he's got, and it's like, 
or what he's bought, and it's like, uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I can tell you definitely that uh, frogs should not be put in with large carnivorous turtles. For the most part, it does not end well. I literally just put a, two very tame turtles in with my catfish. They're fine for two days, and he got turned into sushi. So, in another video titled, I bought the world's rarest man-eating fish, Bobby buys what he calls a rare platinum Yareli Goonch catfish for over $4,000, which has been hand-selected from Asia. Now, here's where the story gets really crazy. Fast forward six months, Zach goes to Japan to buy a bunch of koi, as Zach does. But while he was there, he did it. He found the platinum goonch catfish. And he also found two albino goonch catfish, which weren't as rare and expensive, but I wanted the platinum one. The holy grail of man-eating catfish. But there was one problem. He found these fish when he was in Japan, so he couldn't text me about them until a month later when he got back to Florida. And at any second, these goonch catfish could be sold, and they could be the only ones I'll ever have the chance to buy. So the second he landed, he sends me this text. Just landed in Miami. I have these as options, but we need to get on this quick if you're interested. We freaking got one! We got one! And oops. Oh my. It's $3,500. I just agreed to the $3,500 one. Oh my god, what did I just do? I However, when he goes to pick it up, it's pretty apparent that this is not a platinum goonch, but rather a golden goonch, which can fetch a price of over $4,000. As he has stated, and you can see the clear differences here. A true platinum is a fish, in my opinion, would probably be worth in the ballpark of around $10,000. In a recent video, Bobby would admit that the goonch died in one of his outdoor ponds due to an attack by a ripsaw catfish that it shared a pond with. And you can take that as you will, but I've never heard of a ripsaw killing tank mates. And in my opinion, I would rather put the blame on poor housing and poor care. That's just me. Because the Goonch was not, it was big, but not too big. I would say, I think it was like 15, 20 inches long. But I, me personally, I've never heard of a Ripsaw killing tank mates. I, I've just never heard of that before. Especially, I don't know, I'm just not buying it. And as for the Platinum side, I'm not sure why. I guess for clickbait, title, Platinum, I there's very few instances of a platinum goonch catfish, very rare, but uh, yeah, it's pretty apparent with the differences you can see here that the fish he gets is a golden goonch and not a true platinum. One of the biggest glaring issues of bass fishing productions content is the treatment of axolotls that appear in many videos. A particular viral clip that initially sent me down this rabbit hole shows Bobby finding two melanoid axolotls in a storm drain, which are clearly, clearly identifiable by the grayish-purple skin and blue eyes. However, they have very receded gills, and Bobby outright lies to the audience, claiming they are juvenile tiger salamander larvae. I sent a GoPro down into a sewer to see what I could find. The water was super dirty and filled with trash, but immediately I was seeing fish. First, I spotted a little orange fish, but I had no idea what it was. And then I spotted a baby clown knifefish swimming around. There were fish everywhere, and it was super cool to see them swimming around underwater. And then I spotted something that looked like an axolotl. It even had legs and gills, so this got me really excited. So I grabbed my net to try and catch it out. My first catch was this little baby clown knifefish that we saw. And then I got this little baby Placo. We kept going and I caught this massive Oscar. And not long after that, we got a little baby one too. My next catch was what we were after, the axolotl. And this little guy was so cute. You might be wondering, you know, Bobby, you're not in Mexico where axolotls are. So how are you catching them in the wild? So basically in Florida, there's a thing called a tiger salamander. And these guys right here are actually just baby tiger salamanders, but they look identical to axolotls. Which in all the videos he uses axolotls or claims to have found tiger salamander larvae, only one video shows a true tiger salamander larvae or water dog. All the other videos show actual axolotls being found in drainage ditches, sorry, drainage ditches, runoffs, creeks, fountains, and ponds. Right now, comment two names for them. There's one. Those are definitely one. axolotls, dude. That ain't no cat. Ew! Oh, oh, an axolotl. Oh my god. Can I go? That's so cute. nuts, you guys. We got one. That is not where I was expecting to get one, dude. But that makes sense. It do require, you know, half land, shallow water. It's more like a lizard. Like, you can see it in his head. He doesn't really look like a normal axolotl. She's so stuck in between it. Look at him go. They're so cool, guys. Um, look at this thing! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, we're right now. Oh, he's so cute. Wait, can they breathe air too? Guys, can you tell I'm happy right now? <laughs> Have his stuff on his head, like his gills. They're so cool. It's like a half fish, half lizard right there. That's so sick. That's like a big salamander. They're like salamanders. I've never seen one before. 
what this thing is. This one's definitely a little bit darker. Look at them, they're snuggling. Guys, we've caught two axolotls so far out of this. Right here, guys, we have two axolotls that we caught already, and we're gonna add them to the mini pond. Now, this pond is usually where we put the axolotls, and as you can tell, there's none in there right now. That means they turn into salamanders. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys in there right now. Look at them, they're cuddling. There you go, guys. Go get big and strong and turn into the salamander. They're all dead. They just don't know it yet. And this isn't even our normal spot for them. That is our third one that we've caught in one day. And it's we just caught four in one day. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop lying. They must be like breeding here like crazy. We're gonna go ahead and add this guy to the bucket. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We we now have an axolotl. That's an axolotl. Oh my gosh. You cannot make this up, you guys. This is our take us long to catch our first axolotl. However, this one's a little side of this live in one part of the poly. That is the tiniest axolotl I've ever seen. You can see his little feet right there and his gill. Pippa frogs. And they look like freaking aliens. Look at that thing. Another axolotl, Helen. We've only been netting for 15 minutes. I've caught. We got two axolotls in one net. This one's big. Look at that. He's got so cool. Axolotl, you guys. He is jet black. Oh, now you guys know what I just caught one. These are super oh. rare. This is by far the best axolotl that we've caught so far, but who knows? That's the little I've ever seen, Helen. Oh my gosh, look at the size on that thing! I got that big, you guys. That is a m more and more babies. There's two more right here. In total, I caught five axolotls. And guys, now we've caught so many axolotls already. However, oh, that is so cool, you guys. That is the second one. More where that came from. We just started. So let's get better massive. We're gonna get them in the bucket with the rest of them, and we're gonna keep exploring. Here we go. Let's of oh, that axolotl. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now. This is the biggest one I've ever seen, and it's albino. This is insane, you guys. This is by far the biggest axolotl I have ever seen. That's got to be like 14 inches. Another axolotl. Two in total from this trap. That is so cool. And I think when we started putting everything into their new homes, including the Pac-Man catfish, which went into the fish room, the blue crawfish and the albino turtle went into the crawfish tank. All of the axolotls got their very own equipment. Bobby would get a W with his video showing the conditions of a deplorable oriental food market with overcrowded tanks, frogs and soft shell turtles being kept in cold, dark compartments by the dozens with no light or heat. And while it is nice that he intended to give the animals he bought forever homes, the animals which would include softshell turtles, Florida softshell turtles, as far as I can recognize, tilapia, bullfrogs, white eels, which are, I believe, just American eels, but very pale. It's what they look like to me. As well as Malaysian swamp eels, which are an invasive species in Florida already, would inevitably be restocked as well when he releases them into his different ponds. He doesn't quarantine them and disregards any of the diseases they may spread to other inhabitants of the ponds. Bobby also claims that snakeheads have invaded the monster fish pond, which means that the swamp eels have a possibility of escaping if, say, the ponds were to ever flood or, yeah, basically that. Swamp eels can cover and can travel over land similar to snakeheads. And if snakeheads have gotten into the pond, it makes sense to me that if the floods, if the pond's flooded, then the eels are going to get back out, which in my, to my thought, is actually illegal. I'm not sure. All in all, I just think it's a bad idea. There's some fish you can keep in, like, monster fish ponds. I don't think Malaysian swamp eels are one of those. Oh my god! Oh my god! That thing is so weird! Oh. Now, I've been planning to make this video for months, all while being gaslit by other salamander keepers and breeders that say I misidentified the axolotls in BFP videos. However, after a recent video uploaded by Bobby, I can feel completely vindicated as it truly exposes Bobby for neglecting the animals in his videos for content. And um, I originally was just going to research that video. However, I just thought it'd be better to just do a reaction to it. And I actually do kind of go more in depth in the reaction with my mom that I did with her um, into some of these issues that I have. So you'll see the reaction. So this is editing Taylor right now. And um, that video infuriated me on a level so badly that... um. Well, coupled with space that I'm trying to get the video out, I have to instead piece them into two videos into instead of adding the reaction into one. So uh, please check out the reaction. It'll be posted after this video. So I'm just adding this real quick in here. And as an official, because I'm, I'm editing this days later, just because I've had so much going on, uh, another video has come out. This is the thumbnail. Literally came out a few hours ago. He's officially... I don't want to say it too much because sometimes things just happen on YouTube. It can be crazy. Personally, I think he just finally blocked me. I commented a snarky remark and uh, it has not showed up twice. So I know it's a little bit of crusade on my part, 
but uh, I just hate channels like this that uh, that um, use animals as clout for like in this kind of way. So uh, the war is on, and officially, uh, same with Rob's Aquatics. After I've seen some of the videos on his channel as of late, uh, from now on, if I can, I'm gonna start. Uh, reacting to every single one of the videos that comes out in that way uh, in this, this kind of content that they like to post I'm gonna start reacting to it and calling it out uh, it has no place on YouTube and I think uh, it needs to be called out a lot more and if he decides to start censoring me in the comments and any other people in the comments except for whoever just loves to stroke his ego well uh, he's about to learn that uh, these animals are not for content and uh, yeah, shouldn't be doing it, man. Knock it off. One of my biggest concerns is the fact that he, the videos are staged. And while most hobbyists can laugh at the absurdity of Bobby catching all of these exotic animals, what if something were to go wrong and an animal escapes and cannot be recovered? That's just another invasive in the wilds of Florida. As well, lawmakers could see these videos and believe they're real, as we know. A lot of lawmakers are just boomers who fear anything that doesn't have fur, looks fluffy, and has puppy dog eyes or goes meow. FWC Chairman Rodney Burrito, Senator Marco Rubio, and others continually, continually look for ways to ban more animals in the name of protecting Florida's ecosystem. And many of the laws that start in Florida usually are copycatted into other states, resulting in further inventive or sorry, interventative laws like the Lacey Act that has already greatly impacted animal keepers throughout the United States. Like, say here, uh, Lacey Act, I can't keep anacondas anymore. I can't keep python or the big pythons. And um, they're not part of the Lacey Act, but I can't keep tegus. Even though we live in a state that gets that has winter, tegus have lived here before because um, pe you know people keep them. They can't survive the cold. Now, there is some instance in South Carolina, like some town, they must have like just some like subterranean little area that they're able to survive and just feed off rats or something. But that's the only instance I see outside of Florida. These animals can't survive outside of Florida. So Florida is the only uh, tropical state, subtropical state, that stays warm enough for them to live. There's a reason why they go south instead of north for the most part. And in Alabama, they, you know, they banned them. We can't keep tegus anymore. You know, people that had tegus had to get rid of them. And there were people in Florida who couldn't keep their iguanas anymore. So they sent their iguanas up to Alabama. It's just a terrible situation that people, you know, innocent pet keepers are being punished because, you know, stupid people that release these animals or just fear mongering by lawmakers and people just don't understand these animals. And I've already gone into that rant in my neglect video as well as the Holy Thursday Massacre video, so I'm not going to go too much into that here. But Bobby isn't alone, however. Anyone that possibly loans animals to him for his videos should also be ashamed. For allowing these animals to endure such treatment, I really hope Bobby can learn to do better because he does have such a large influence over his channel. Like He has millions of subscribers. His videos make millions of views. And uh, I really do hope that he can do better. And I'd rather him change for the better and treat his animals the way they should be treated. Not as things to make content. These are pets. You know, people don't really think of fish when they think, when they think of animal abuse. Because they're fish. But fish can suffer the same way, you know, any other animal. They, you know, just because they're being stuck in a tank. You know, these amphibians that he's using, he, they're very sensitive to their skin. They breathe through their skin. They can uh, become susceptible to toxins. And he's just trudging them through ponds and bodies of water that he doesn't know uh, what the chemistry is or through these stagnant ponds. And it's really unsafe. So all in all, I really do think that he needs to be called out by other content creators who truly see the impact he's having on these animals and what he's using them for other fish keepers axolotl keepers i truly think as well as what his actions could do in the future i really hope that other people will reach out to him so he can stop this kind of content it doesn't benefit anyone 
a lot. I mean, he's not as knowledgeable. He's not really explaining a lot of knowledge in his videos, and to my understanding, other than the names of some fish, uh, really, it's just content for him to what I as to what I can tell. And there's nothing against keeping a lot of fish. Believe me, uh, there's tons of people that keep a lot of fish, but I don't think that he's focusing on their care as well as he should. And um, just the overstocking, some of the uh, some of the issues that just seem apparent to me, as well as just the content farming whole thing, and um, as well as all the money he's making from these videos. It's just these videos get a lot of views. That means a lot of ad revenue, and I just really hope that he'll change for the better, change his content, treat the animals better, and that's all I can really say. He's nowhere near as bad as any of the channels I covered in the animal abuse video on YouTube, but I do think that some things need to change and he needs to be called out for some of these actions. And that's all I can really say for now. So thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and check out some of the videos we got coming up. I got a lot uh, going on and I've been trying to get this video out for a long time. I actually uh, almost was not going to post it a while ago because he had a video where he was talking about his mental health and how he wasn't doing great. And I was like, oh man, I'm going to make this video. And he's feeling this way and he's got you know making that video kind of makes me seem like a, a douchebag but all in all animals are being harmed in these videos i believe and he needs to be called out for it regardless so thanks guys for watching to do more videos and uh let's hit the set the ten thousand subscriber mark <laughs> but i'm not done yet oh oh jesus christ there's a head what is that ah, look at this thing you only grab on him Ew, what is that? Uh, oh, look at that. It looks like. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. This is very venomous and poisonous, so hopefully he doesn't jump in my mouth. Ow. Ow. Ah. What the heck? Ow. Ow. That is disgusting. I don't want to do it anymore. You're in my foot. Look at this. Look at the size of this freaking plinko. Oh, ew, we got a dead. Ew, we got a dead fish and a live fish. Oh, it smells so bad. Ew, it's alive. That looks like a scary snake. I don't want to mess with that. Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my god! Let's see what they are. Oh, ew! What? There's a fish! Oh my god! Ew! Oh! There was, there was something on I don't think I've ever touched a freaking snake. Oh, oh okay! Oh, that ain't no time. Ew! Oh. Ow! He's fucking me! Ew, it's like hard as a rock. It's dead. This is so nasty, you guys. Ew! Ew! Uh, I guess. Oh, it smells so bad, too. Oh, oh my god. That's a freaking lamprey. That is disgusting. Ow! Ow! Oh my god. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. Not the sixth one. Ah. Ow! 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 Ow!